Welcome back to my channel fans, it's me, it's Ruku. Today I'm reviewing um, OJ's beer, this is uh, Blanche, OJ Blanche. Um, this is a clearly wheat beer, comes in at 5% and is a 500. Looking forward to this, do love a good wheat beer me, and uh, as we can see it ticks all the boxes. It's a white wheat beer, I don't often do white wheat beers, but um, I'll never say no to it. Colour as is it should be, it is that sort of white cloudy colour, almost like um, a sort of hazy, milky, golden colour. The head, as we can see, is fantastic. And you can see the colour there, look at that. Beautiful colour. Head is looking rather decent, nice, fluffy, almost like untouched snow. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Carbonation, very good. Streaming all the way. I've kept some in the can because it's a wheat beer and we know that we can remix it so we're going to put OJ to the test and see if it is truly a wheat beer which I'm sure it is but we'll see alright on with the smells it smells of there's a slight orange slight orange tinge there it smells like definitely like an orange and a slight vanilla I'm gonna probably guess that they probably put coriander or something in this because I'm smelling something in there. It smells quite nice. I do like that smell. Um, head's nice and thick, foamy still. Can't wait. Let's let's, let's crack on. That's different. That is different. It's got um, a unique flavour. There's um, a hint of a sourness there. And weirdly enough, the more you try this, and you let it settle in the mouth, you get a, a slight orange taste. Orange, hint of vanilla aftertaste of, a, of an orange but it's also got a sourness twang to it I know it sounds really bizarre but there's a slight sour twang to it now that's different I've never seen that in a white wheat beer before so I don't know if this is what OJ are doing if they're trying to you know make their own twist on a, on a classic but weirdly enough it works it generally does work you've got that orange coming in then this sort of I don't know what that is Orange feel, slight vanilla. The head is foamy. The head is another expander. It expands well in the mouth, and I really do like that. The head is a little bit creamy. The body of the beer is slightly creamy as well. There's there's a smoothness and a creaminess to this. So I'm not sure what they've done to this. And as you know, if you're an avid viewer, I never look on the back of the cans. But I'm gonna because I'm intrigued. Um, where's the ingredients? Oh, okay. Ah, I wasn't far off. There you go. Um, this has oats in it, so that explains the creaminess, which I detected, but I couldn't put my finger on, so well done for using oats. Uh, coriander and orange peel, as well as your barley malt, hops and yeast. So, excellent flavours in this. I like it. It's it's different. They've tried to add a, a difference on a, on a classic, and it works well. The beer itself is a light body for a wheat beer, which is another tick in my eyes. The lacing is good. See the lacing there, look at that. Do you know what? I'm gonna bring you up. Let's bring you up. There's your lacing. Look at that colour. There you go. Right. Also, just before I ran this review off. That's good. It's good. Good. Also, just to let you fans know that um, you can actually go on their website, uh, liquorlazar.com. Um, I'm going to pin this in to the description below, so go and check that out. This is exactly where I bought this from. Um, fantastic beers on OJ. They've got a nice range of beers as well. 
Um, I think the strongest was like 20%, so the lowest is like 4, the highest is 20, and it just starts skipping up in twos. But this being um, quite a new beer, um, you know, I'm, I'm quite lucky to really get my hands on this. Um, it was worth a try, and I had to try it, and, and I'm glad I did, because quite honestly, fans, I think this is going to do well. This is a nice, moderate white wheat beer that has got some decent flavour there. I think will appeal to most of you, especially your wheat lovers. Um, you'd probably like this as well. Um, so I'll pin that. And also, you can actually get 10% off as well. Uh, if you tap in uh, Liquor 10, I do believe, I think. Um, I'll, again, I'll put this in the description below. If you order from their website, you can get 10% off all orders. And um, it saves a bit of money. Let's be honest, it saves you fans the money. And uh, let's be honest, you're going to get some great beer in return. And they deliver to your door, so don't forget go on their website and pick up some of this OJ Blanche or wheat beer. So I'm just going to quickly remix this now. Oh, I can't help it. I'm just, I'm just drawn to it. That's really decent. All right, let's give this a quick remix. You watch the head climb. It's going to go massive now. stuck in the can uh, I've dented the can but the head just didn't want to come out but look at that that is quality that is a quality head retention nice and white light fluffy look at that beautiful let's give this a quick taste now it's been remixed just see if it has changed because all wheat beers as we know do change when remixed due to the wheat in the bottom so here's to remix him it's a wheat beer ironically when you remix it, the head doesn't expand as much. But you get a smoother, creamier body. And I think that's where the, the oats and the wheat's combined. It's really creamy, it's smooth, it's almost more of a pleasant mouthfeel. It almost coats the mouth really well. So, I, I, this is one that I'm going to say I'm going to drink both ways. You know, I don't, this is one I can't not drink both ways because it's nice when you don't remix it and it's nice when you remix it. So, Again, it's personal preference to the taster. Uh, me, personally, I like it both ways. But hey, pardon the pun. Um, but yeah, I do. So, there you go. Um, it's been a great, great, great beer, and I've liked that, so I'm going to score this a 8 out of 10. So, a nice white wheat beer from OJ. Join me next time, fans, for some more beer reviews. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget, check out in the pin section below, uh, and I'll put all the details where you can get 10% off and also the website to buy this lovely white wheat beer from. Thank you.